Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video, and today I am doing my first early review of the new Ultraman units that are joining the game for season, oh my gosh, I think it's 16. So, talking about Zeton today, or Zeton, Zeton, I do not care. You'll tell me in the comments section I'm saying it wrong, and I'm just going to keep saying it wrong. So, it's, I'm just going to say Zeton. So, Zeton, really, really sick unit. I like it a lot. This, the videos behind me are from stream last night. And let me tell you, man, I had so much fun playing around with Zedin. Zedin was a load of fun to play with. And you'll see in a second on the screen right now, I'm pushing him with Earth. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Bam, Gigan special. Throw him off the enemy leader. Major strats, all right? I'm having a ton of fun with Zedin. So I'm going to break down his kit really quickly. And then we're going to talk about how I feel about him and what I've been doing with him. Not just this little maneuver there, because that's not something you're going to regularly be doing in combat. I'm going to get my phone out for this one. There's a lot of stats on this page, man. So Zetton is a pretty tanky 4-star, right? At level 8, he has 3,464 health, which is a lot more than some of the other level 8 forces I have, like Shin Godzilla and uh, uh, my Ultraman, stuff like that. Zetton is really, really tanky, and he kind of needs it, right? His attack speed is 1.2 seconds long, but he has really low attack. So he has the fastest attack speed in the game, okay? But he has really low attack. He probably has one of the lowest attacks in the game. But that doesn't really overall matter because of his speed of attack. He's putting out a ton of damage. If he was doing like 100 damage every second and two, every 1.2 seconds, that would just be a ridiculous, like a crazy, crazy number, right? So... That's just not going to happen. That's just not what we're doing today, right? He's got low damage, but an incredibly fast attack. Very solid. You give him a Batra boost, a Space Godzilla boost, and he is just cleaning up other characters, man. It is really gnarly to watch. His uh, search range is really wide. He has range comparable to, to Ultraman, although I think it might be a little bit longer than, con and than Ultraman. I think in terms of attack distance... Uh, instead of uh, Ultraman and Manila being tied for third, I think uh, Zetton is in third place. Maybe Zetton has a little bit um, has a little bit more of a uh, range than Ul than uh, Ultima does, but it's yet to be determined. Yet someone's got to go in and test that. But I think Zetton probably has either the second or third best range, probably the third. And Zetton has an exploding ability, kind of like Burning Godzilla. A little bit different burning godzilla's explosion does a flat damage like flat damage rate like oh you know burning godzilla's at max is gonna do like 3,000 damage every time zen's explosion is percent based so it's a different percent based than kiryu kiryu's percent attack the absolute zero cannon takes 90 percent of the current enemy health away so if your kiryu is at 100 percent and you use the absolute zero cannon on them it's going to remove 90 percent if you're Enemy Kiryu is at 10% health, and you use Absolute Zero Cannon on them, right? It's going to leave them at 1% health. Zetton's Explosion calculates attack based on the actual health of the enemy characters, right? So at max Explosion Charge on Zetton, when it detonates, it's going to calculate any of the enemies within its, like, red ring... And when it detonates, it's going to do 90% of their health back to them as damage. So it doesn't matter if they are only at 10% of their overall health. Zetton is going to take the overall 90% like calculation of their total health and deliver it back as damage. So while Kiryu's Absolute Zero Cannon will not kill any units, it'll just leave them with really low health, Zetton will kill enemy units. It will kill them. Very solid. Very solid. It will kill them. Okay. I'm liking him a lot. He's really defensive. Oh, I should say, I should say, I should say that when you drop Zen's explosion on an enemy leader, it is not going to do 90% damage. His max percent that he'll do to an enemy leader is only 40%. So keep that in mind as well. Different when you're using him on a leader. Nonetheless, still extremely powerful. Can definitely wipe a push. Now, speaking of wiping pushes, I think I have footage of that on here somewhere. Let me go right here, I believe. I think this is probably a good example. So this is against Burning Godzilla Gaming. GG on stream. 
I'm really liking Zetan a lot. If you place him right, he'll tank for your uh, for your leader. I'm having a ton of fun with it. So what I do is I'm placing Zetan like either on top of my leader or right in front of them and letting him build up the charge, letting him survive. Zetan is not a damage dealer. Zetan is a defensive unit. He's a, he's basically a better Marka like cannon, right? He's cost way more, He does, he, but he does way more. So you can see his charge is building up, his charge is building up. When that charge builds up, Zetan will disappear from the map and explode, regardless of his health. He'll just disappear and go away like any facility would, except Zetan is not classified as a facility. So you'll see, look at that explosion range right there. Massive explosion, right? That would, that would have done so much damage to the enemies had we not killed them all. But now put Zetan back immediately, and I got my protection. Huge. It's extremely good for de for defense. I'm liking it a lot. If you're a defensive player, if you're really into like cure you stall decks or anything like that, Zen is the move. That is what you want to be using. I'm having a lot of fun running him with Space Godzilla because Space Godzilla's crystals are providing <laughs> extra defense on top of Zen, which is just it makes an insane wall for your opponent to have to work through. I'm really digging it. There are i'm seeing a lot online like people are not liking the the damage output from zetan that they think he's weak but i think it's fine because the trade-off is he's super tanky and his explosion is doing so much damage that i don't mind if his attack is not doing a lot as well he's already doing one thing extremely well and that is being like defensive protecting your leader protecting your push he already does it extremely extremely well right? He doesn't need to have a crazy, like, killer attack. He is just on the money with that explosion. It is a really, really great ability. You can see here, like, I think I die here to the G21, I don't remember, but this Zetan is, like, on the top of the money, right? Killing everything, trying to do the best that it can. I really do like it. I cannot stress enough that I think Zetan is a good character. I do not know if Zetan will be meta, Right, but I do know that Zetan is going to be extremely helpful in more like niche decks. Right, cure you stall deck. Zetan is going to excel in right anything protecting your leader, like a, like any deck that involves turtling of any kind, of really being really defensive and working your way into overtime, is going to be crazy. Right, cure you deck, perfect example. Right, you don't want you know you don't want an enemy cure you to make it into overtime right to three minutes because they're just going to absolute zero cannon you. If I'm using Kiryu as my lead, and I'm putting Zetan on top of my leader, I'm trying to guarantee that my Kiryu makes it to the end of the match. So that's what I'm going to be doing, right? Huge. Let me try to get more gameplay of him on the screen so I'm not just like, oh, that's the same match. So I'm just not talking about it and not showing you guys anything. But look at this. Okay, he's back. I'm loving him. I really am loving him. I think if you want to use him, I think he's a safe bet to put in your deck. However, I do not think that he is a valid plug-and-play character. He is he is less like Ultraman. He is more like Ultima, right? Ultima is not really plug-and-play either. You kind of got to build around having a massive sniper in your deck. Zane is really expensive, you guys. For 8 cost, he just stands in one spot. So that is something that you have to calculate. And if you are playing more defensively... Zayn is perfect. I, I I really like him a lot. Is he meta? No. Is he really good? Yes. Could he be meta? I think in the future, yeah. I'm definitely wanting to continue using him in my decks, probably throughout this season, just to keep testing him out, especially while I have him rentable at level 10. So I'm a big fan of it. Oh, there's one thing I also wanted to talk about, but I don't remember. Yes, okay, I do. He's classified as a unit and not a facility. So like in earlier in this video, you saw that I can move him with Godzilla Earth. Godzilla Earth, the only character that can move Zetan. You can also use kids. You can use kids to move Zetan. So you can use kids to move him across the board, but you can only use um, Earth. Earth is the only actual physical mobile unit that will push him. Bomber won't push him. Leo won't push him. Anything like that is not going to push him. Only Earth can push him as a unit and then the only spell that's going to move him actually i'm sorry two spells will move him dimension enemy dimension tide can move zetan and your your own kids will move zetan as well zet using kids to zetan the enemy leader is also extremely wild strategy that works surprisingly well in overtime i am a big big fan of zetan this is, like I said, this review is coming. This is an early review. We always do early reviews on the channel. This review is coming out literally a day after Zetan has come out. So, will my opinions change in the future? 
who knows but for now while i have him rentable i am really enjoying him i love his kit i think it is somewhere between overpowered and balanced and I, I, i'm pretty excited to see where the community is going to experiment with him i definitely think he's the better of the two new ultraman units for sure and we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens with him in the coming months if he'll become meta or not but that's all i got for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this one so thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you on the next one bye bye